Hey, what is up YouTube? It is either whatever channel I'm uploading this to, I don't know. I, I, I got this big box here. It's not even that heavy to be honest with you. We're gonna take a look inside. I already know what it is, unless it's a bomb and somebody's trolling me. Prank it forward, bro. So I have an idea of what this could be. And I'm gonna share it with you guys today. Because I like sharing. Sharing is caring. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was gonna take a lot more strength. Alright. Already I see it's not a bomb, so that's a good thing. Good news. That's where the tape was holding on strong. That's a lot. That's a lot for the small thing. It's like it's not all that small. To be honest, it's it's quite big. And I got a steal on this thing. It's a Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Link statuette of him doing the thing on the box. Got this for $30 on GameStop.com. I'll link in the description below, they still have some. They also are selling the skull enemy from that game. I don't, I never played that, I, I played it, but <laughs> I never ran into that guy, so I wasn't about to spend $50 on him. He's about this high, Link's about this high, or smaller than a box. And somehow they made the enemy taller than Link, I don't know how that works out, but I'm not just a marketing team. At least we got one, yeah. So I guess we'll take a look at the box before I start breaking it open. Which I've already have. Try not to break the uh, cardboard around it. So as you can see, we got Link's pretty face on the front. What does it say right there? It says Link. In case you, in case you, people buying this didn't know that. I don't know why you wouldn't know that. There's a sword. You got some sort of Dark Horse Deluxe. That sounds like a Knuckleback album. I think it was. I'm sad that I know that. So you have to be 14 or older to possess this. It's like drugs. Uh, first four figures, I'm guessing that's the people who made it. And then on the top you got that, and then on the bottom you got that. It is official still of Nintendo, so that's good. Again, this is $30 at M... not Amazon. That's where I usually order my stuff. It's $30 on GameStop.com or into your local GameStop if you want to go fishing there. I didn't see any within the radius of 100 miles of my local GameStop, so I ordered it online and it took a bit longer to get... Oh, here we go. Here's something that I didn't notice. You can actually open it up and see the dude inside there, if you can see that. There you go. So if you don't want to open the case, which we are for today's video, but if you don't, you can just flap it open and show people. That, that can go two ways. That's basically what I'm trying to say. If you're a pedophile, then you can flap it open and show it to people. Or you just per, I don't know. I don't know why you have to be specifically pedophile. This tape is nice and it comes off easy. I assume a guy here safe with all this fluffy stuff that I showed earlier. Just trying to rip it so the box won't get ripped. Because I hate when that happens, and apparently you guys do too. You can just scream at me in the comment section. It opens backwards. So it opens from the back. Let's go ahead and open this. This is originally like $80, I think, or $90. And marked down to $30. I couldn't skip on it. So I I ordered this and another thing, but I already opened the other thing. It was Deus Ex Revol or Human Revolution or something like that. because I had never played that game, and it's Xbox One backwards compatible now, so I ordered it. And guess what's free with the gold next month for your Xbox 360? That exact game, so I'm gonna kill myself later. There's the box. Here's the figurine. We're gonna go ahead and jump into this. He's a lot bigger than I thought he would be too, which is always a good thing. Size matters, guys. That is a lot more noisy than I thought it would be. All right, here he is. Oh, okay, I thought I broke it for a second. Here's his little place stand. It's got the Triforce on it, it's all black. I don't really, I guess it'd go like that, or that, that yet. I don't know, we'll see. But here's the grand prize of it all. This is really neat. All right, hold on, let me throw this plastic out of there. I'm still gonna put it back in a box. But here he is himself, fantastic. Let me get him to focus, there we go. Way good detail. I mean, look at that ass. I mean, you can't get a better ass than that. But yeah, the amount of detail is amazing. Um, just looking at it now, he looks like Skyward Sword Link. No, a lot of people didn't like that game, but um, who actually cares? This is a cool figurine. I liked it for the amount of play I played of it. It reminded me a lot of um, Wind Waker. That's always a plus in my book. Am I putting this guy on wrong? Did you wake me up? 
did you disturb my slumber? All right, I, th I figure I'm putting this guy on wrong. Let me try this way. Okay, I assume that's right. I'm just gonna say it is for the sake of this video taking forever. I don't really like the base piece because honestly, they kind of fucked it up. They put like pentagons on his feet, but the circles around it's like, have you ever heard of basic geometry, guys? Come on. Other than that, though, <laughs> other than that 10 minute freaking me trying to figure out the base, he looks quite amazing, if you can tell. Um, this is definitely worth the $30. If you need to buy another game to justify your purchase, I would recommend Deus Ex Human Revolution, especially since it's um, backwards compatible. Actually scratch that because it's coming live to gold free if you have live or gold. But this is definitely worth the value of $30. It is very neat. I don't think it's worth the value of what it was originally priced at, but obviously neither did the uh, game people at GameStop, so they marked it down to $30. You can also get the Skull Guy, who is $50. Didn't see any point in getting him because I don't know who he is. This was an interesting purchase of mine. It's gonna go on the shelf of cool, cool shit, where I also keep my glasses, like the, the glasses I sip out of. I stack them there. <laughs> so I gotta move those out of the way. And I also put my game systems there, so it's gonna be cluttered with this new guy in there, but he seems cool enough. I'm gonna keep the box. I'm gonna put the plastic back in there. And then I'm going to keep it where I keep all my boxes. I still have my PS4 box. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to get into that because I'll be here for days talking about fucking boxes. Other than that, though, thank you guys for watching. Whatever channel this is going on, either Clickmates or my channel, whichever, it might go on both. I don't know. Happy Merry Christmas. And uh, have a Happy New Year. I'll probably make another video before the end of the year or before Christmas or whatever. So you can expect that. But as for now, this was Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Link Unboxing. Check it out down below if you have an extra $30 to spare. Maybe you got GameStop money for gift cards or whatever. I did, but I ordered this before that, so I just have extra GameStop money now. So there you go. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. If you're new here, subscribe, comment if you have anything to say. Did you get this? Did you figure out how to put his feet on? Because I, I, I don't. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a happy new year. No! Damn it. Fucking hell. <laughs> Did mine come defected or something? Like, holy shit. There we go.